much. How are we doing today? Welcome to another instalment of our video devotions. Um, I think we've been doing these for almost two years. I might be completely wrong there. Um, but I hope you've been loving every single day as much as I have. Uh, I think it's such a great resource that we get to hear from lots and lots of different people. Uh, and I love being able to share with you. So welcome, hello. Uh, my name is Rebecca and I'm from our Manchester campus. Um, and today I'm gonna be sharing a verse from Exodus. We're going in this morning, guys, and this morning, today, whenever you're watching this. Uh, so I'm going to be reading from Exodus 14, 14 uh, from the New Living Translation. And it's a really easy, short, simple one today. One that I will, you know, think about or in those moments just remember when it's needed. And it simply says this, the Lord himself will fight for you. Just stay calm. It's a bit like those, um, remember many years ago and they're massive like keep keep calm and carry on it's a bit like keep calm god will fight for you <laughs> that sort of thing um but within this scripture itself in exodus uh, it just reminds me that we just need to remember it as christians and people of the church and and as humans that there is no problem that is beyond the scope of god's care no matter how big no matter how small or anything because we are his children and that's what you know, he, he, he's there to care for us and that's what he has and he is able to do. It says many places in the Bible, these different things, he's promised to take care of us. It's in Philippians 4.19. He makes good plans for us. It's Jeremiah 29.11. And he loves us beyond measure. And that's Romans 8.37-39. to So there's simply nothing that is beyond the ability for God to, to work in. In Exodus 14, 14, uh, Moses tells the children of Israel, the Lord will fight for you, you need only to be still. It's from a different version. At that moment, the situation was, they were standing at the edge of the Red Sea. So they were hemmed in by the sea before them, and then the Egyptian army was coming behind them. The Israelites are in a seemingly impossible situation. They, that they were just incapable of escaping on their own. They had a big sea in front of them, the army behind them, they were a rock in a hard place. They didn't know where else to go. But what, you know, Moses reminded of them is that they needed only to wait for God to move on their behalf. They just had to be calm. They just had to be still. They just had to wait there. And then from that, you know, from that amazing things happen. When Christians trust God to fight their battles, it enables them to overcome what accompanies conflict. Things like panic or fear or hopelessness. And there are times where we can absolutely see no way around the problem. Just like the Israelites when they were cornered. I don't know about you, but I highly doubt not one of the Israelites suddenly thought, oh, it's all right. This massive sea in front of us is just going to split down the middle, providing us a way to escape. But that is exactly what happened. When they were calm and they just waited on God, they were, God gave them a way of escaping by splitting a sea. Now that's mass, that's huge. I think that sometimes we can read things like that in the Bible and kind of just be like, oh, cool, a sea split. No, 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 a sea split in front of them when they thought there was no way out. When we truly believe in God's word, we can learn that there's no battles too intimidating or monumental for God to handle. But then also on the other side, there's no battles too small for God to handle. So those, you know, don't kind of throw something away and thinking, oh, it's fine, it's tiny. If you simply just put your trust in God and, and allow and ask God into that, into that area, there's nothing that is too small, too intimidating, too big, too monumental, nothing that God can't handle. We just need to trust in him. And like the scriptures say, just wait and be still and be calm. Keep calm and trust in God. Is that what I said at the beginning? There we go. Keep calm and the Lord will fight for you. <laughs> Thanks so much. Thanks so much, church. I hope you've enjoyed this short snippet today. And again, just remember, keep calm. The Lord will fight for you. See you soon. Bye.